Tracy Willie checking in tech. I don't know what's going on. We back with another video, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to quit your job. So, if you've been working since you were 16, uh, I know personally I started working at 18, but my lady she started working at 16. She's literally been working longer than I have, and uh, if you've been work working for corporate America for at least more than three years then you can learn something very very valuable from this video uh so stick around to the end and just pay attention to all these dream all these gems and all these nuggets i'm about to drop on y'all all right so my first time working for corporate america again i was 18 years old and my first job was working at this ucl logistics place where i'm in the warehouse doing a bunch of packaging and it was exhausting but i was i did not want to wake up and go to work I had just graduated high school and I needed a job because I was living with some friends and I needed to support that, you feel me? But that money that I was making was not worth the time about the time that I was exchanging it for. So I, all I knew how to do was trade my time for money. That's how I grew up. That's how everybody around me taught me. Everybody I uh, loved uh, did that. So I thought that was normal. As soon as I graduated, if I don't want to go to college, get a job, you feel me? uh man so i got a job boom kept working from 18. i quit that place because i couldn't take it no more and then i got another job because i couldn't get life figured out i feel like again i needed to trade my time for money that's all i knew so boom i started working at u-haul and then uh, i got a second job across the street from the little howard johnson hotel it's a very small hotel just busting both of them at the same time and if that wasn't stressful man all in all it was very very stressful so i quit that too but i had quit that with with a friend who had promised me that they were gonna quit as well uh we were both working two jobs and uh we both agreed to quit our jobs and chase this music chase this rap shit you feel me because that's how we look at it we just want to make it off this rap music so uh we both quit our jobs at, at 18. i quit both my jobs and he quit one of his jobs very smart very intelligent and uh I wasn't thinking like that and I was out there in in the wild again you feel me and this time it was for longer than it was when I first quit the UCL job the logistics job and in my mind this time I really wasn't going back and I was going to make this shit happen with the music that didn't happen uh, I kept working uh, no let me backtrack so I had quit both jobs and I got on with this music I started printing t-shirts I started selling mixtapes <laughs> I had it going but it was a burst and then I ran out, you know, and then it came back to square one, like, uh, what am I going to do? I want different. I want this. I want that. I want a car. I want to pay my phone. My phone bill got cut, you know, because the mixtapes and t-shirts was only doing it for so long. And then, boom, so went back to square one. And then, it was so embarrassing, I started working at Walmart. So I can go on about my whole life story, but that's not what this is about. All I'm telling you is that I've worked multiple places, and I've quit multiple times. And, uh... I got fired once before and that was at Walmart. And when I got fired at Walmart, I said, I'm done. I'm about to work a better job, I'm about to take this serious and really go up there. So I started doing carpet cleaning and I, I felt like it was the most official job I worked. It was the most money I was making. But due to, because of my age, I mean, it, it was pretty much like I'm still at square one because working for U-Haul, you getting paid nine something an hour, but I was young, so I was willing to do that. And then when I got older, my, my expense got more expensive, expensive and I felt like this job was the most money I've ever been making, and it was, but it wasn't because it's the same thing. Uh, I'm just older and I have more expenses, so I'm making pretty much the same amount I was making and spending at U-Haul as I'm making for the carpet cleaning company. So again, I didn't like it. I loved their system and how they operated. I learned so much from that company. Oh, man. And then uh, I quit that motherfucker, too, because I just didn't like the whole here is a schedule. It's a bunch of estimates. You're not going to make no money today, but thank you for showing up. No, because it was commission only and I wasn't with that. And I feel like I could make more more money out there. Uh, so yeah, bruh. All in all, man, I wasn't fucking with none of that. And you good, baby. Uh, I wasn't fucking with none of that. So, so boom. How I quit my job. So then, I started working for Smiths because I had some experience on retail. And I started doing overnights, you feel me? And, bruh, doing these overnights... That shit was killing me because you was really stocking on your knees all night. Like, you go there, you break down that shit, 
you break down the pallets and then you stock all night, bruh. All night. Like, really, robots can do it. And if y'all go watch my other video, I just spoke about robots. Like, they can, they're, they're going to take over. If a facility has 100 employees, get ready for it to go down to 25 because they don't need that many people because robots are way more valuable than people when it comes to just people taking advantage of people or, or robots, period. Uh, the robots is, is going to be sleeping at the facilities, is going to be protecting the facilities. They won't call out, none of that. They only need to hire people to clean the robots and make sure they're operating accordingly. Besides that, that's it. So going back to the jobs, right? So boom, uh, Smith, bruh, boom, I quit that motherfucker too. And I quit that bitch December 1st, 2019. And I made a promise to myself that that's the last time that I quit a job. And it wasn't the first, but it's the last time that I quit that motherfucker. And I recorded a video. I'm gonna do my best to pull it up right here. That was the last time I worked for that place. And since then, bruh, December 1st, I quit. January, Kobe died. February, COVID-19. March, all types of shit been happening in 2020, and I know y'all know. But who is this affecting primarily? This is affecting people who have weak mindsets. And I'm not saying because you're depressed right now that you have a weak mindset, but it's important to realize that if you're really being affected by times like this in a negative way, then you got some work to do. That's your, that's your action signal to let you know, hey, I'm, I'm being affected, like I feel weak in this. No, that's, 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 a, that's an action signal. You must take action. You must start reading. You must start slowing things down. So honestly, this has been the best time in my life. I feel like I'm really out here. Like, you know when you go on a hike and you reach to the end of the hike and they say, that's it, you can't go no more? I feel like I broke the barrier and I'm really out here. I don't know what's about to happen on this hike because it said don't go no more, but I'm out here because I'm not afraid, you feel me? And when you when you work for a corporate America, ten, nine times out of 10, you're in fear. You're in fear because confusion causes fear. You know, uh, doubt causes fear, worry causes fear. So 99% of people working for corporate America is in fear. They do not have faith in themselves. They do not believe in themselves, period, period. So when you start having faith, when you activate that faith button and you push that faith button and you realize how powerful and, and gifted you, you are for being on this planet, bro, you're going to be like, yeah, I have a great purpose. And then that's when you start meditating more and getting closer to yourself. Uh, I've been on and off meditating since since I quit my job, uh, since I quit the the U-Haul and the and the Howard Johnson. I've been meditating and reading books again, on and off, on and off. It ain't till now when my back against the wall, both me and my lady quit our jobs. It's really on us to do what we gotta to to do what makes us happy. Uh, is the reason I'm out here pouring out my passion to y'all, bruh. Cause I'm I'm wanna change lives because it's people who change my life, like like Ralph Smarts and Derek Derek Grace. And uh, certain books changed my life, like Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Think and Grow Rich, The Four Agreements, uh, uh, movies like The Celestine Prophecy, great movies who just teach you about the unseen and the unknown, you feel me? Uh, we don't know how gravity works, we don't really know how the sun come, come up and down, we don't know if we're upside down on the globe, all that, but it's just faith. We don't know how water come down to waterfall and freeze like that, like, yeah, we do know to a certain extent, but what I'm saying is that... It's a lot of stuff that you don't know how it works in nature. And we don't question it because we know faith. We know that it's supposed to be like this, you know? And when you start telling yourself that you don't die and you really, uh, you're a multi-dimensional being having a temporary human experience, that's when you're going to start really living your true purpose. And you're going to really find that one thing that you're not afraid to die for. You're going to find that one thing that you're willing to stand up for. You're willing to take a stance behind and die behind it because you know it's your true life purpose. My true life purpose, bro, is good. What is this? Anyway, my true life purpose. That was weird. My phone was charged to the Bluetooth speaker and then it just started playing some weird shit. Plugged it out and it still kept playing. So my true life purpose is to guide people, to help people, and to to create valuable content for everybody on this planet to benefit from. My true life purpose is to help you become the best version of yourself. No, I do not have all the answers, but yes, I do have a sincere heart, a sincere heart, and a sincere vision, a sincere perception of looking at this planet. Uh, I love people, bro. I can't deny it. And for a long time, I always wanted to live up to this, like, 
to this like image that I had in my head about me because I've been rapping, I love rapping and I still rap, shit, I'll bust a rap for you. But all I'm saying is that I had this one perception that I was supposed to be smoking weed, wearing chains, have jewelry and bitches by my side all the time because that's what they painted the rappers to feel like and like every young nigga want that that feeling that they per, that they that they push on us so much we be wanting that you feel me but it ain't about that bro we all different and we all have different purposes you feel me like that that might work for dude but that's not gonna work for me so find out your true life purpose and it might be against everything that you've been doing but that's okay bro that's okay that's okay because it's a system right that it's a group of people on this planet, aka the cabals, the people who got the government taking the blame for everything. Uh, it's an inorganic human. It's an inorganic entity that's really contributed to like making sure this planet stays at a low vibration. See, they got a system that they got everybody under, and once they got you at a low vibration, then you they in the winning seat and you in the losing seat for as long as you are alive on this planet. You're gonna be slaves to them. You're gonna be in bondage to them. So it's important that we all stick our chest out, realize our true power, and lead by love. You feel me? Because fear and excitement, fear and love is the same thing. Fear only exists in the mind. So does love. So it's all how you decide to look at it, what you want to see in it. You can see fear, and then you're going to move in fear, and you're going to do everything at a low vibration. You're going uh, you're gonna ignore people's text messages. You're going to ignore calls. Like I see people all the time bragging about how many messages that they have they have not read. And they think that's something to brag about. Do you know that's driven by fear? Do you know that's that's like that do you know that's abusive? How? Because you ignoring something that's right in front of you. Just like how we keep just like how some of us keep ignoring these dark entities that's ruling this planet. And acting like they're not. And acting like everything is fine and dandy and the government got our back. This is not a pessimistic video towards the government or or to no entities or none of that. This is to bring solutions to everybody on this motherfucking planet. Nigga, start reading. Start slowing things down. Start taking some close hours. Get out your comfort zone. Because it's pattern. Human, humans operate off mechanics, mechanisms. We operate like machines already. That's why we don't question patterns. How many times you wake up and go to work, 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 and you come at home in that, in that moment and you're just sleeping. And then five, six years go by and you're like, damn, how did I end up here? And then you really, no, you really ask yourself that. How, how did I end up at this place? And you know what the answer usually comes down to? Money. I needed money. All the jobs that you work, guess why you work there? Because you needed money. And you got caught up in the in the system, paycheck to paycheck. You got caught in the system because now you needed you you just work there for the money, right? And you don't like anything that that's happening in the process of you getting that money. But just because you know you get money at the end of that pay week, you're gonna stay there. So you rather be at a low vibration and get that paycheck than to not get a paycheck and learn a lot and become very very pure and abundant. And then that money's going to follow you because you're pure and abundant. So a pure abundant of money is just going to pour in on you and rain in on you because you're in pure abundance. When you're in fear, money is afraid of you. Money don't want nothing to do with you to do with you because you don't know what to do with it. They don't hear me though. They don't hear me. And that is why I'm making these videos, bruh. I'm here to I'm here to to bring solutions to the planet, bruh. I'm working on blogs, I'm working on courses, and you can scroll through my YouTube video all the way from day one. i am been promoting valuable content, been helping, been, been helping the people around me for the greater good, for nothing in return. Teaching all my niggas everything I know. Oh God, working on becoming a better man in this relationship. All that, communicating, all that. Ain't nobody perfect, but we gonna really make it worth it. Oh God. Again, my name is Tracy Willie. This job is how to quit, how to gain the confidence to quit your job. You can quit your job today, right now. You just gotta stop being scared. Stop being scared. You can quit your job. You don't need a plan, and you don't need money. You don't need none of that. Cause I did that shit. I did it. I did not have no money saved up. I did not have no nothing. And I walked away from my job with my chest out, having faith. You wanna know why? Cause you gonna always keep saying, one day I'm gonna quit my job. One day I'm gonna quit my job. And guess what? That one day will never come. That one day will never come. You create that day. You must wake up and be like, I'm not going. Or I'm finna go and tell them I'm not coming back. You must create that moment. You must create that energy. We are born to create. 
not just ideas and stuff that will last here forever, but you create your moments. You create momentum. You create motivation. You create positivity. You create yeses. You create noes. You create pure abundance. We are born to create. We are creators of this universe. It's a very special reason why we was put on this planet. To create. To create. Oh, God. So go ahead. You can quit your job, bro. You can quit it today. Just keep your faith and mix that faith with action and faith. Faith, 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 and action. Mix that faith with action and faith. Because <laughs> you need double faith. Faith is real, bruh. I recently learned about it, too, and it changed my life. What's happening, baby? I got a promotion. Okay, bet. So we appreciate y'all. We're about to take care of some business right now. And y'all have a good day.